Hello again, I am Jim Bob, and welcome back to Construction Simulator 2 here on the PS4. And we're going to try and get these items delivered directly to the job site. So we need, for the entire job, one generator and two concrete casings. I wonder if I can buy them all in one go. I don't think I can. Uh, I want to get these... Ah, no, I can't yet. Ooh, is it a to-go auto-load option? Uh, we're going to have to get them to go. Okay. So we'll get everything we need for the entire job. There we go. Uh, and now if we get into our Mac Titan. Let's go to the Merchant's. And we'll get our crane over there as well. Did I put that away? Yeah, I, I never got it back out again, did I? Um, let's find the uh, the loading area. There it is. I'm wondering if maybe we can get all of this stuff. It's really thrown them all over the place, isn't it? That's odd. It's very odd. You know, I reckon we can get that on the back of our uh, standard flatbed. So uh, I'm going to take this back to uh, home base and leave it there. Hope that brings the whole thing. Yes, it does. Uh, so uh, instead, what we'll do is go to the motor pool. We'll get our uh, flatbed out. And we'll let us quick select that way. So we'll do it this way instead. There we go. And uh, let's go to the material supplier. Get this stuff loaded up. A bit annoyed that they just kind of scattered my goods all over the area. One of them's not even in the loading bay, look. So another weird game glitch by the look of it. Again, we're going to open up the crane. Start spinning that around. And this is everything we need for the entire job. So, uh, just the generator and then those two uh, boxes of supplies there. So, this will all fit quite nicely. On the back of this flatbed here. should do. My generator's actually a bit bigger than I thought it was going to be. Uh, I'm guessing we can stack the two crates on top of each other. I'm, I'm hoping we can stack the crates on top of each other. I'm looking to see where I hook, actually, and I'm not seeing. It's upside down. Ah. That's ridiculous. Not only is it, you know, all over the place, but it's upside down as well, which means we can't get the hook icon. Uh, I'm going to have to see if I can nudge that to turn it over somehow. Oh, that's annoying. So we've been kind of screwed over a bit here by the suppliers. go. Um, I'm going to have another go with this. See if I can actually if I go really low with the hook. No, 
Nah, it's not going to let me look, is it? Can I... Can I spin this around? Or flip it over? That's the next question. Nearly. Oh, now my TV wants to go into standby. <laughs> What I want to try and do is get it to a point where I can literally just kind of push it. No, it's not going to let me do it. Um, Ah, uh, this is exasperating. Oh, nearly rocked it over then. There we go. On its side is enough, just so I can at least get the hook. Ah, well that was a chore. Okay, right. Uh, we need to reset into driving mode, secure the loads down, and make our way over to our construction site back this way. Oops, a little bit of uh, frame lag there. And there we go, oh that's really close, really close. Uh, so we can set up a crane, which is good. So we'll set up our Liebherr fast directing crane. Uh, let's unsecure the load. And switch into... Hello. A fast directing crane. There we go. Uh, I want the hook cam. Zoom in a bit. And bring that down. Does this have lights? No, it doesn't. So these obviously need to go here. I'm just looking to see where the generator needs to go. I wonder if it's over by those floodlights. Maybe that's why I can't see anything. Oh no, that's for another stage of the job, so we don't need the generator yet. So we brought it early. That's fair enough. Let's get the uh, other concrete uh, pack. generator. There we go. Tell you what, these cranes, they are so much easier to use for this sort of job than um, you know, sort of the, the, the hassle we went through early in the earlier jobs 
using our uh, flatbed. There we go. Task complete. That was really quick and easy. Nice, quick 18 grand. Uh, pour cement into the prepared area. Okay, we're definitely going to need our cement crane for this. Uh, let's reset the crane out the way. Let's get into the flatbed. It's going to tell me to secure the load. I'm not going to secure it just to drive here out of the way. There we go. Uh, so we need our cement stuff. So that means going back into the machine hall. Everything's been fixed, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, let's put that back into the vehicle hall again. Seeing as we can't get rid of it. Uh, we need to retrieve that. And we need to retrieve that. Okay, so let's uh, get into the concrete pump. And skip drive. Let's get this positioned around the other side of the crane. thinking just here is going to be just spot on so let's enter function mode there we go uh, open up the bucket cover because I will forget if I don't do it now raise the arm up spin it around Start unfolding. There we go. Awesome stuff. So from there, we should easily be able to uh, cover this whole area with lovely, lovely concrete. Now we need the uh, cement mixer. Uh, again, because it's a bit of a trek, we're going to skip the drive. Apparently we're going to crash into a lamppost as well, <laughs> or actually it's a trash can that we broke. We broke. Yeah, we we hit. Let's reverse around here. This job should be finished reasonably quickly. This the way we've been going. There we go. Uh, I want to swing that around and open the chute. A little bit too far forward. There we go. Uh, we need to fill this and start pouring. Excellent stuff. So uh, let's get into the concrete pump. Start pouring. Kind of cool watching that uh, concrete spilling out everywhere.
spin the camera around so I can see what I'm doing. And there we go, task complete. That was nice and quick. Big payoff for that stage. More concreting to pour. And that's actually where we're set up, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to relocate where we are. Uh, let's get back into concrete mixer. Turn off. Pull forward to there just so we're out of the way. Let's get in the concrete pump and reset. Get into drive mode. In fact, actually, you know what? We don't need the concrete pump for this. Are we stuck in there? Nope. We can get out just. I can do this with the concrete truck itself. So let's just move this out of the way. Yeah, that Mac, the front of that Mack truck there, just it makes me think of American fire engines for some reason. I don't know why. Um, I don't know if Mack do fire engines in America. I'm sure somebody will let me know in the comments if they do. This looks like it has a larger chute extension than uh, than the cap mixer as well, so we should be able to cover a further ground with this. Okay, so let's rotate that round. Start pouring. doing. Ah, I hate these cameras. <laughs> it wouldn't, hey, it, it wouldn't be an episode of Construction Simulator 2 without me cursing the camera. Maybe I can't do this with just the mixer. Maybe I am going to need the pump after all. Do what we can and spread it around a bit. Hoping we won't need to buy more concrete as well. Naughty driving into the concrete. Oh, crashed into the water cavern, that's not very clever. And reposition the truck down the side. Just here to do that last little bit. Yeah, job done. So let's clear the area. And now we need to place the generator. Where does that need to go? Let's find out. Oh, that needs to go in the pit. Okay. That's a hell of a, a work site, isn't it? Generator hooked. Uh, Ray 
raise it up. Pull that in. Start to lower it into the base. And there we go. Another really quick and simple stage. And that's it. The job is done. That was pretty, pretty quick and easy. Made a nice little bit of cash. 281 base with an extra 56,000. An extra 1,000 XP as well as our bonus. Very nice. That's flushed out the bank balance a little bit. Um, right, let's see what other jobs we've got. Uh, new parking space? No. Uh, large industrial hall. Uh, more road refurbishment. Deliver some sods. Uh, more road refurbishment. Agricultural works. So, uh, I like the idea of doing some... Does this one need ripping? That might be a new, a new stage for us here. Yeah, we need some ripping look by the look of it. Scarify the following. We're going to do this job because this is going to be a completely new interaction for us. Doing some ripping with our ex with our you know our dozer. So yeah, this is our new job here. And we already have the vehicle we need out. It's uh, just over there. Won't well, let me select it. There it is. Uh, where is the job site? That's oh, pretty close. Okay, so let's reverse. Camera. Okay, so scarify the area. This is something I've never done before. So I'm assuming. This is going to be uh, a low kind of. impact area. Lock the camera. There we go. Wow, looks like I've got a lot of uh, of ripping to actually do. It's pretty quick as well, actually. I didn't think it would be that quick <laughs> in terms of movement. keep saying retracting components but I don't know what components it's retracting unless it's the dozer blade maybe This is the other fiddly thing, is that when you want to use reverse, you have to kind of keep panning the camera a little bit. And so you have to keep toggling that. It's, yeah. Again, it's just it's the limitations, I think, of playing with, uh, with a controller as opposed to a keyboard. I know you're not really supposed to do that. <laughs> Me being very, very naughty here. Uh, and that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to hit excavation mode. Yeah, we are going to have to scarify or rip. So quite close to each, you know, each pass. I've done 
Again, wrong button. Yeah, we're getting there. Uh, this is... This is one of those more time-consuming jobs that you don't quite realise just how long it's going to take. I think. It's kind of cool, though. It's, as I say, it's, it's a new job that we haven't taken on before. Using the Ripper. It's just tricky trying to get everything lined up properly. easier ways of doing this without having to constantly raise the ripper I think that's just going to be it you know, raise it on the reverse and then drop it back down again and I think this is just going to be the easiest way to approach this right actually have to kind of clear to count the job as being done. And I'm actually going to back up with the ripper down here just to improve that bit that we kind of missed. Like that. Uh, I wonder as well if... Uh, yeah, I have to keep switching between camera controls and uh, rotation controls. I was going to try and rotate and just go in a straight line across the bottom, but the lamppost was in the way, so I think we'll just go back to doing it like this. I figure if I put my track in the uh, in the trench that I've just done, at least I've got a kind of a guideline for the next pass. Like so. It's not the completely cleanest of jobs, but uh, I've never done this before, and I have no idea how much of this section we're going to have to actually get ripped to uh, to consider it as complete and move us on to the next task. Well, I'm starting to get into a bit of a rhythm now.
go forward a little bit more. There we go. Oh, yeah, got very wonky on that one. Not much left on this. Oops, going the wrong way. So hopefully we'll get this complete in a moment. position straight away for the next pass. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, oops. Ah. So we kind of need to do there. Oh, wrong button again. I don't know why I keep pressing the touchpad button instead of the triangle button. Yeah, so it's the other side really that's looking a bit worse for wear but there is a patch just down here as well we need to kind of touch up a little bit yeah that looks a bit better try and get these gaps that we missed last time out. So about there. Nope, that's too far across. This thing's brutal in terms of the coverage that we need to get. It's being really, really strict. I thought we'd done it for a second then. It was just the street lights turning on. areas. It's not far off being done, is it? Um, let's try. Doing a, a line this way across the top. That 
might help. I can't believe this hasn't triggered yet. Wow, really, really strict. Okay, we've got some little lumpy bits just over here. Oh, it was already down. Oh no, no, I did raise it up. I'm losing the plot here. There we go. I don't really care now about not being not supposed to be going backwards in this thing. I just want to get this stage done. I, I can't see why it's not clearing the job off. What is left for us to attack? Seriously, still? We've carved up that entire area. <laughs> There's just these tiny little pa red patches left, and that's that's what it wants us to clear. Okay, well, that's what it wants. That's what it'll get. See how really you can see just how ah there we go. So you can see just how nitpicky it was. And we're done. So uh, excavation time, I think. Yes, excavation time. Okay, so uh, we will send this uh, back to. Vehicle Hall, and uh, I will get my excavator and the proper, you know, large dump truck sent over there, ready for the next episode. So that's it from me. Thanks for watching. I am Jim Bob, and I'll be back with some more Construction Simulator 2 very soon.